we need structural changes in Europe, to, in, in favour of, of the south of Europe. And the, the politicians of both Spain, your own country, and, and Portugal should be very concerned about that because they can say this, we're not as bad as Greece now, but um, where we are now, you might be in the future without a change in Europe. We need structural changes in Europe, to, in, in favour of, of the south of Europe. And the, the politicians of both Spain, your own country, and, and Portugal should be very concerned about that, because they can say this, we're not as bad as Greece now, but um, where we are now, you might be in the future without a change in Europe. I think the mass of people of the last 20 years in Europe have been betrayed. They have not seen their face. In, in the kind of policies that have been carried out. They have not felt that they have a sense of belonging, that their communities have been protected, their communities are safe. The problem, I think, for Spain and Greece is that reform has been associated with pension cuts and wages cuts. Reform should be about uh, innovation, about new pro ways of producing things that are valuable. That's what reform should be, and that would make people more easily uh, accept even difficult decisions about reforming the pension scheme. When reform is progressive and forward-looking, not when reform, as in so many of the governments in Europe now, is just a euphemism for reducing wages and pensions and increasing the power of elites.